Hello and welcome to my mum and dad's house here in Kenilworth. As you can see, they love their Christmas lights. They've been up for the last two or three weeks, gleaming away. So let's find out who's been a bit of a star with their learning. So let's watch the best assembly as I go and just check up on my mum and dad. This week, in Year 3, we have got a few best learners. Our best learners in Year 3 are everyone. Now, we have chosen everyone because over the last three weeks, we have had the opportunity to invite some people into school and have a Stone Age day. And these people have been so impressed with all three of our classes for their behaviour, their participation and their understanding of the Stone Age. Here's a bit of an insight into what we've been up to on these Stone Age days. We have entered a story world of games and challenges where we were given different bags filled with artefacts that we could touch and handle and put them into the right periods of time or put them into the right categories. We found it fascinating how different these artefacts felt compared to the images that we'd seen before. We also had the opportunity to become hunter-gatherers hunter or farmers. We had to decide which was best. We put together the hunted, gathered and farmed foods and then we created a conscience alley to decide where we would prefer to be, a hunter-gatherer or a farmer. We then created a Stone Age house. Each of us had a different role to play. As you can see from the pictures, we also had, we had people as fires, small wooden posts, large wooden posts, the looms. We even had people dressed as cows because we found out some really interesting things. They, they kept animals like cows in their homes. We went to the market to try and secure a gift for the chief in the Neolithic period because we wanted to ask him a favour. The market stall holders were very persuasive. Then we took our gifts to the chief to ask him whether we could have some of the land. The children really enjoyed picking their gifts, offering them to the chief and then asking him whether they could have their land. The chief also enjoyed really really enjoyed receiving the gifts. All in all, we had three fantastic days and we're really proud of how well you've done. Keep it up year three, you were a credit to the school. She also has neat handwriting. This week we have chosen Elisa. We have picked Abu Dhabi because he's very kind to everyone. He's independent and never gives up, and he's always shown his best. Well done, Abu Dhabi. This week in Year One, the Year One teachers have found it so difficult to choose a best learner. 
This is because we have noticed a huge improvement in all behaviour across the year group and all of the children have made so much progress since September. We are going to be a little bit cheeky this week because we have chosen all of the year one children for best. Particularly because when we visited the pantomime last week, we were just blown away by the behavior of all of the children during the performance. The way they got on the coach, the way they got off the coach, the way they um, sat and watched the whole play beautifully. We were just blown away. So. All of you have got best this week, and as a little treat, we have decided to give you an extra playtime on Friday. So, big thumbs up, and well done, everybody in year one. This week in nursery, we've got two best certificates. These certificates go to Marco and Loxy. These children both joined nursery last week and they've had a really busy start. We've been to see the Hungry Caterpillar at the theatre and they've been singing Christmas songs that have been recorded for all their family to listen to. They fitted in really nicely and are enjoying playing in all areas of nursery, both inside and outside. We're really glad to welcome them into our class. fraction skills over the last couple of weeks some of which are really tricky and she has been showing such determination and perseverance to really master those skills and keep going and going even when it gets hard so well done Amelia your determination and showing your best and that stickability is really impressive not only that she's such a lovely friend she's caring to those around her and she always makes sure that her friends are smiling and happy so well done Amelia keep it up I've chosen Rizwan as our best learner this week. He is putting in so much effort into all of the lessons that he's doing, particularly maths. 
And maths can be quite dis difficult for Rizwan, but he's not letting that get in the way. He's coming in early for his pre-teach. He's going straight off to Miss Baines in the studio and making the most of all that learning time. And that's now starting to show through. He comes back into the maths lessons, ready, prepared and confident to take on whatever's about to come. So well done, Rizwan. You're working so hard and please keep that up. This week's best learner in 5B is someone who is always showing a positive attitude towards their learning. He loves the challenge, especially in maths, and has been working hard in Maths Challenge Club. He is an incredibly polite boy and loves helping others. Congratulations, Pamir! This week for best respect we have chosen Hamza! Hamza has always been kind to others and he never changed his card. He sometimes stands up and he loves keeping the classroom tidy. He also does the register when he wants to talk. Well done Hamza, keep up the good work. Thank you for watching this week's Best Assembly. Keep up the excellent learning and over the holidays, if you've got a free moment, maybe take out a book and read or practice some maths so when you come back in January on Wednesday the 5th, we'll see some more superstar learners and it'll make it really difficult for your teachers to pick the best learner. So from reception, have a lovely Christmas and goodbye. to be counted so Joseph and Mary rode upon a donkey all the way <laughs>
Bethlehem, they could not find anywhere to stay. But an innkeeper had an idea. He took Mary and Joseph to his stable. That night Jesus was born. Some shepherds were in the field. It was getting late and they were getting sleepy. Just then a bright light appeared and an angel spoke in a loud voice. king had been born. The king saw the star in the sky above the stable and followed it. Everyone was happy to see the special baby. 